hi guys let's make a goosey so i have tomato i have pomo i have onions i have my egusi blended with crayfish and pepper i have my ugu i have black pepper i have oil and i have fish so uh, we'll be starting with um, boiling the fish and spicing it up with other um, necessary spice so today we are making this egusi on low budget and this is actually my first time using um tomato to cook uh, a goosey and trust me it came out well like it came out nice like it was too delicious so i'm just going to add my ghee salt black pepper and onions to the fish then i'm going to cover it and allow it um cook till it's ready and once it is ready i'm just going to uh remove the fish from the pot and i'm going to empty the pot because it is a pot i'll be using to cook uh what's it called egusi the egusi so you can start by boiling your meat and your fish or whatever you want to use for the egusi so now that i'm done with the fish I emptied the pot and I placed it back on fire. So I'll be starting by pouring my red oil. After pouring my red oil, once when it is hot, I'm going to add my um, what's it called onions. So you see, you can get a different pot or you can use the same pot using um, what's it called um, boiling your meat. So you just add your onions to the pot after adding the oil, and you wait for the oil, um, onions to fry wait for the onions to fry very well once the onions is done frying then you can now turn in your um, tomato paste so my tomato paste is a um, tomato um pepper and onions i blended it together so you ju i'm just going to add it to the um soup so i've been hearing of um cooking a goosey with tomato and i mean it's nice and all of that so i decided to do my own and see how it will come out and yeah it came out well so this is me adding the tomato paste to the um, pot of oil and then you just mix it and wait for it to fry like let it fry well let it fry very 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 well so let me use this opportunity to appreciate our viewers thank you for actually opening our channel we love and appreciate you the new ones thank you for opening our channel the old ones thank you for actually coming back to check out our channel so now that it is fried i'm going to add my pomo to it so at this stage you can add your pomo or your stocked fish or whatever you use and you can add your meat or your chicken or whatever meat or whatever um yeah, whatever I need to use, you can add it at this point. So because it's just fish and pomo I'm using, and I can add the fish because it is actually going to scatter. So I'll be adding just the um, pomo, and you can actually turn your sauce water. If you use the meat in um, cooking, the meat from the, the water from the meat, you can actually turn it at this point. So uh, me, I am not going to use um, fish water. So I'm just going to add my maggi. I'm going to add my um, salt and I'm going to add a little black pepper. Yeah, I love using black pepper. I actually like the scent and I like the taste it gives to food. So that is why I actually love using black pepper. I use black pepper on almost everything. So yeah, I'm going to add it to my egusi too. Then I'm going to mix and wait for it to actually fry again also. So we are cooking on low budget too. Don't forget, we are making this egusi on low budget. So this is Nigeria egusi on low budget. If you make this soup the exact same way I'm making it, guys, you will be licking your fingers at the end of the day because this soup came out very delicious. So now that the um, tomato is fully fried and all my ingredients I put before, they're already ready. I'm just going to add in my um, egusi. Just at this point, gently add in your egusi, like um, add it to your pot and allow it cook or should I say allow it fry. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe if you've not. Also, don't forget to share this video so your friend also can learn how to cook egusi on low budget and also how to cook egusi with tomato 
So after adding my egusi, I'm just going to cover it for a while and allow it um fry or cook or allow it to do its steam before actually coming back to turn it, mix it with um other ingredients. So I'm just going to cover after this. Make sure the egusi um, the fire is on low heat so it doesn't burn and also feel free to turn um, pour add water to it if you feel the egusi is too dry feel free to add water to the um, pot of egusi so I'm just going to allow it to cook again while I get ready to add my um, my ugu to it so at this stage now it is ready for your ugu so now you can add your ugu or whatever leaf you want to um, use sometimes i use ugu sometimes i use yanopaja leaf so at this stage you can add your ugu or whatever leaf you want to add to it so i'm just going to add my ugu and i'm going to cover it again for a while before actually coming back to um turn it to mix the ugu together with the egusi and the rest of the soup and at this point the soup is ready like ready that's after mixing everything together i realize it for a while again the food is ready okay so because i'm using fish and the fish i'm using is not actually strong enough um i'm going to actually be putting the fish last because i don't actually want it to scatter so i'm going to actually be putting it last but if you're using meat yeah you should have done that since you have poured the meat inside since like if you remember i told you when to pour the meat inside that's after um uh, after the um stew is ready when i was adding my pomo yeah you can add your stock by then your stock water and your fish and all of that by then so me i'm using fish and the fish i'm using is shower shower fish so it's it scatters easily and i don't want it to scatter inside my um soup and then i don't see the fish i used in cooking so that is why i'm actually adding it last so i'm just going to add it to the uh egusi soup and then i'm going to bury it inside so it can drink enough egusi so mm, if not liked and by now uh you're not doing the right thing please don't forget to like don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe again let me use this opportunity to thank all my viewers thank you for opening our channel the old viewers the new viewers thank you for actually um coming to check out our channel so now the soup is ready you can eat it with a bar or whatever swallow you want to eat it with so Thank you. We love and appreciate you. Have an amazing day. Bye.